Good morning, Schreiker. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to those people in England. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. It's just me and Schreiker today. No tea. She's busy. She has family in town. So we'll wait for a few minutes for people to come in. It's just going to be kind of like, oh, I need to get my coffee, actually. I left it over there in the kitchen area. So Dolores and I found um, a tub of all different kinds of electronics. And I don't know if any of them work. Some of them are new. Some of them are not new. So the idea for today's morning coffee show is to kind of go through what I have. And um, I don't We're know. We're going if to suspend two of our rules today. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if T's watching, but um, <laughs> no, I doubt it. I know she's out with her family, so we're gonna break all the rules today. Not all of the rules, two of well, them. a lot of the rules. <laughs> well, one of the rules. What are, what are two of the rules? Uh, no comps in chat and link dropping. Ah, yes. So, hey, darling, Larry, Linda. Hey, you guys. I'm gonna say good morning to you in one second. So. Oh, my internet sign is up, which means that my internet is slow. Yeah, I get you've, been, this, you've been choppy for the last three days. so I get this little bar that comes yep. up. Oh, it's gone. It just left. That's good. I'm going to have to have, um, I have the cable guy coming. Isn't that a great movie, cable guy? I loved that movie. That was such a great movie. <laughs> um, I have the cable guy coming at one to put, um, I, I never installed um, cable. I never installed cable in, in the cottage and Dolores gave me a TV a couple of weeks ago. So I figured, no, nah, might as well put cable. I mean, I only would really use it to watch the news, but you can get all the news live on YouTube or Facebook, the, all of the channels stream live. Well, maybe the girls will hang out more if, if they can watch their shows, you know, if they have yeah. it, I don't know. The, the only shows they watch is like on Netflix or Hulu or, you know, those kind of, so I don't, I mean, I don't even know, but it's, it's free, you know, well free, I'm, you know, I'm paying for it, of course, but it's part of the package that I'm paying for. So why not have them install it? I guess. I don't know. Anyways, they're coming today to do that at one o'clock. All right, back to what we're doing. So we are going to, I'm going to show you, I have a huge tub of electronics and we're going to uh, give you guys time to um, look them up, see what it is, talk about what it is. You can put... This is my elderly neighbor. Hold on. Leona, is everything okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm good, honey, but I'm on a, I'm on a call, so I just wanted to answer and make sure everything was okay. I will. I promise. I'll call you. Okay. Bye, honey. Bye-bye. Leona. Remember she told me she had a whole bunch of stuff for me and I never went and picked it up? Yeah. Yeah. She might be calling me to go pick it up. Yeah. You need more stuff. You're about out. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, but she has old stuff. Right. Vintage. Old stuff is awesome. I love old stuff. All right. So we're going to go through this bin. It's a pretty big bin. It's right here next to me. I'm going to show you what I have. And um, we're, you guys can look it up, put comps in the chat, tell us what it is. I know, Shriker, you're really good at looking stuff up. So. Yeah. I'm going to let them do it, you know. You're going to let them do it? Yeah. All right. mean, drop links to Amazon, eBay, whatever you want to do. You know, All show right. us what it is. Okay. All Tell right. Us what it is. Random auctions by Jill. Nice name, Jill. I she really like it. Shortened it a little bit, didn't she? I really like that name, Jill. Hmm. Wonder where you got that idea from. Came to her in a dream. Hmm? It came to her in a dream. It, um, I don't really think it came to her in a dream. <laughs> I think a little birdie whispered oh. it. A little, a little, a little blue jay whispered it, whispered it in her ear. <laughs> Hi, Jill. Shell UK. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Thanks for being here. Heidi. Hi, honey. 
Hello, Nance P. Good morning, sweetheart. Nora. Hello, hello. Beetle Gal. Get you guys all strolling in. Linda, I have a gripe with you, Larry, darling. Where's my little good morning, darling, Donna? Did we break up? <laughs> What's going on, Larry? Am I not your darling anymore? Jeez. Well, what's what's that saying? What's that old saying? Um, something about uh, distance grows the heart. What is it? Distance makes the heart grow fonder. Ah, uh, distance makes the heart grow fonder. I think there's a lot of truth to that statement, to be honest with you. Hey, Greens, how are you? Thanks for coming in. Oh, well, it's too late now, Larry. You, you already blew it. You just put it in there now. <laughs> Saxton, hi. Did he just put it in? Yeah. Hi, Sylvia. Jonathan Alfaro, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Did he just put it in there? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. See? Osma, Osma says absence makes the heart grow fonder. That's not, oh, is that what it is? Absence. Not I distance, think, absence. Yeah. I thought it was something like that. I thought it was something like that. Hi, Mary. Welcome in. Good to see you. Everybody strolling in. Thanks everyone for coming in. I appreciate it. Well, I got a notification today, so it must be turned back on. Did you? Yep. Hmm. Well, it was kind of really last minute. Again, I'll never get a lot of people in. Some of, some of the other auction channels put their streams up like a week before they're going live and people can hit the bell notification. I put my stream up 30 minutes, if you're lucky, <laughs> before I go live. I need to work on that. I need to get better with that. Then you wouldn't be you. Yeah, right. Exactly. Then I wouldn't be me. <laughs> I really don't feel like working today, but I have so much shipping to do. These people, I still haven't even done the gift certificate thing. Mm. Oh, my gosh. The girls were here yesterday. And we really didn't get a lot done. And then Dolores came and we did get a lot done. Um, yeah, I but, saw all those, all those bins you posted on your, oh my God. On your page. We worked, we worked so hard yesterday. I like collapsed last night. Um, but you know what it is? It's like cleaning a closet. It's like it gets worse before it gets better. Like I've got stuff, good stuff everywhere like i just i need to just organize it it's just you know um the back office stuff the organizing stuff is is really really tough yeah you can empty one little closet and it clutters up the entire house right you know if you take it empty it out right so imagine you know the volume of stuff that i have coming in here and trying to build lots and put it together. And I mean, just just this bucket of stuff that I have here, most of it was, was in the bucket, but then I had some other buckets of stuff. So I just kind of combined it all. I mean, even just this, just, you know, getting it all together. I get your notification the next day. No way, Dees, you're kidding. That's crazy. That's crazy, crazy. All right, you guys, for those of you that are coming in late, not late, but for those of you that are just getting the notification and coming in, I mean, you're never late. You, you know, you come when you want. Um, I have a bucket of electronics and um, a lot of them has, have been sitting on the shelf for a long time. So you look up Warriors, uh, let me know what it is. You can write in the chat what it is. I don't know what a lot of this stuff is. I'm gonna show you what I have. And uh, and then we'll see. All right. You can write comps in the chat and you can drop links to Amazon and eBay, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Yes, that's my new name, Saxton. <laughs> Schreiker, did I did I spell it wrong? <laughs> what did I what did I write? What what Saxton wrote? <laughs> Schreiker. Uh, added, a, added a letter. <laughs> what letter did I add? A C. Oh Schricker. <laughs> I have to go in and fix it. Oh, darn. darn it, darn it, darn it. Let's it see. At least 75% of the people get it wrong. So, uh, Backspace fixed. 
There, I just fixed it. <laughs> I had my back office open. Hi, Carla M. Welcome in. <laughs> it wouldn't be me if I didn't misspell something, <laughs> Saxton. It's just who I am. You got to love me or leave me. You know, and that's it. Okay. So I probably will put you in the corner. And I'm going to add this to the stream. And I'm going to show people what I have. And then I'm going to put it on that table. How's that sound? All right. What do you got? <laughs> Saxton's like, right? Okay. So this is the first thing that I have. It says Pro Bind 1000 Cover 1. Is this a sticker in front of it? Looks like a crafting item. Um, it didn't come with the craft stuff. No. It's lightweight. It must not have a motor in it. It's brand new. Yeah. And this is what it looks like. And it says, Pro Band. Oh, Mary. Mary, I hope you did that on purpose. <laughs> I'm sure you did. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Mary. Um, cover one. Cover one. So what do you think it does, first of all? What's it look like? It looks like a big toaster to me. I was thinking it's something that, like, you put your, your nails in to dry. Okay. At, like, a salon. Oh, there goes my phone. So it, it produces heat maybe to dry your dry your nails is what you think? I mean, it looks kind of dangerous to put your nails. I was going to say, I don't know if I want to stick my fingers in there. <laughs> but it's brand new. It's got an on-off switch. It's never been, you know, okay. this is never. We, we have a couple of people saying it's about book binding. Glue book binding machine. Put spiral thingy in pamphlets yeah the plastic combs on the edges of a book Ozma always knows everything yeah Ozma, she's good she's good Ozma, you know what we should do we should have a contest whoever guesses the most but how are we going to keep track and I, i'm we, not going to try to keep track of that and how do we how do we know if it actually is what it what they're saying well is? because they have to drop a link and tell it to point us towards it to see what it is all right hold on let's see it doesn't have a uh a model number or anything um pro oh pro bind 1000 and pro bind 1000 all right i gotta go look now not. hi mr turtle trader um let's see yeah but i can't keep track saxton okay it looks like it's a pro it's a thermal binding machine i'm gonna drop a link to a, a page so you can go look at it Pro Bind 1000 Thermal Binding Machines. Hi, Holly. Hi, sweetheart. Thanks for coming in. I got to go find my coffee, too. Hold on. I can't get my phone to connect. What is wrong with this stupid thing? Hold on, guys. All right. Let's see if I can get my old phone back from my son's friend, because this one keeps yeah, Mary says, not fair. Ozma is a walking encyclopedia. She is. Ozma, how did you get so smart? <laughs> Hi, Greg. She, Hi, casual. Probably from years of just being a reseller. Okay, well, let's see. That's where, that's where I got all of mine. All right, so that's, right, what, so it that's is. what it is. All right, let me right. mute myself mute here. Myself. Okay. So, why is your now, I don't know that it puts uh, combs in. I think it is a gluing machine. Hey, Casual Flipper. Heather got it first. Oh, Heather got it first. Hey, Heck, Greg. She, she said the glue book binding machine. So, yeah. Thermal binding system. Yep. Speaking of which, we found a P. SP last month in our basement and my son has not given it back <laughs> so let's see new they sell for 150 and or, or 100 depending on where you buy it and pre-owned a little less so there you go that's a nice little piece 
So this is brand new. Look, it's never brand new. Does it, well, it doesn't have a box, so it'd be an open box. So could you sell this something like this as brand new? Because it because I, I put new, new other. New without box. Yeah, you're exactly. New other, without box. Yeah. How, how much is it? A hundred. Yeah, hundred for brand new. Well, be a nice Unless little. you buy from the manufacturer, then it's 150. That'd be a nice little eBay item. Yeah. Okay. So we know what these are. Wireless keyboard. Are they wireless? Well, there's no wire to them. So they got to be Bluetooth, right? Yeah. Two of them. I don't see anywhere where you plug in. Is there any brands on them? Apple. Oh, there you go. I wonder what they sell for. An Apple wireless keyboard. I don't see anywhere where you plug in anything, so nothing opens or anything like that. So there's two of those. So you would use those for a desktop um, wow. Apple computer. Some new ones are pretty pricey. How they? Is there a, give me a model number. Oh, here's an on off switch. Yes, model exactly. number in this fine print designed by Apple, California, assembled in China. Number A1314. A1314. Is what it says. Okay. There's, a whole, there's actually a whole bunch of numbers. I don't know. Yeah, if that's, yeah. right no, no, that's good enough. That's good enough. It's there. They're in excellent condition. They're like brand new. Looks like most people are selling them in lots, but individual ones can go as high as a hundred dollars. No way. Let's go look at the solds and see what the solds say. Holy crap. Thirty to fifty dollars, Saxton says. Yeah. Okay. So that's a, it's an Apple product, so that's not real surprising. This is what I held up in my picture. Oh, a main repeater. Lutron main repeater. Doesn't it need a USB? I have no idea, Nance P. I, have, I would have no idea how to hook this up to a... If it's Bluetooth, it probably doesn't. I if it was a uh, signal, then yeah, you would need a... Okay, this one is called a main repeater. By Lutron. Oh boy. RR main rep WH. Yeah, I see it. Wow. Crazy. What is it? Those are some uh, phenomenal prices they're getting. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Well, I, I mean, I don't know what that is. It's a radio repeater. So it just broadcasts a signal over and over, you know, depending on whether it was radio or internet or whatever. Toilet girls here. Hey, toilet girl. I mean, it looks like it's in brand new condition. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, let's see. Let me put a link here. We'll do a lower price one. Okay, we'll do the very lowest price brand new that I see. It's a dimmer? So it it's looks like the very lowest price is around 75 Hey, nose picking. Hello, William. Osmus says between 150 and 200 yeah, for yeah, this one. I see a very lowest price of 100 that sold at auction. So that's a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice piece. And it looks like a lot of them have sold too. So somebody knows what they are and what they do. Lut yeah, Lutron just makes a lot of electronics, fans, and stuff like that too. What's this? Quick, quick chat. Quick, quick shot. Mic. It's a mic? Looks like it. Quick shot. Does it have a number on the bottom? Model number 05 5838. And it passed inspection, you guys. I think that's important to know. <laughs> Good morning, Tammy. Quick shot. It's 
kind of cool. It's like really small. Testing, one, two, three, testing. I should plug it in and see if it works. Yeah, you can do it real quick. Well, I don't know. It might interfere with your other mic that you have there. Okay, yeah. okay so that's in the box. Um, capture and edit high quality video and audio. Hold on now. What is this? This might be something I need. I do everything on my phone though. It's brand new. Easy cap. What's the number on that one? It's brand new in the package. Um, model number. DC sixty. Say that again. D, as D in Donna. Yeah. C as in cat. <laughs> and then six O. <laughs> All right, I see a few of them listed from thirteen to twenty. Thirteen to twenty dollars. Yep. Brand new ones. Brand new. All right. Audio capture and edit. So if you were doing voiceovers, it might be good for that. Thunderbolt. That's another Apple product. Okay, what an object. Oh, this must connect to maybe something like this. Okay, so this is brand new. And then there's this. Yes, uh, Tamara, we are doing all comps. You can drop numbers. You can drop links, whatever you want to do. Just for this morning. Jean-Pierre. Playing with electronics. We're not selling, just playing with electronics. Doing an unboxing. Apple equals expensive. That's right. Oh, what do you got? A green leaf. Just a, a docking bay. It looks, or a Ethernet bay, it looks like. Gigabit. Oh, just a switch. Yeah, gigabit switch. No what idea what that's eight or ten, ten wires out of that thing. No idea. What do you got? Eight on the back. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them, yeah. External USB. Yeah, but they're not USBs. It's Cat Five. It looks like. So most of this stuff, I have to tell you, came out of a millionaire millionaire's mansion. Like this guy, I remember when I got this lot. This guy loved his electronics, like all a lot of a lot of this stuff. I did add some stuff to it. All right, so that Thunderbolt <laughs> off the dropped is a ten dollar brand new. Okay, I bet, it, I bet it would sell quick too. It looks like. All right, so these came from him for sure. I remember these are um, uh, Kindle. Oh yeah, how many generations of Kindles are there? About a dozen. I don't know. And here's another one. <laughs> Where's the guy's computer? <laughs> yeah, it may be in the bin. Nose picking. <laughs> Uh, we're not we're not trying to auction Jenny. We're just identifying stuff. And there, she wandered around the uh, the the cottage and grabbed all the electronics she could find. Oh my God, there's a tangled mess in here. This is sorry, guys. I have you know, it adds up quick when you're buying storage units and stuff like that. It just comes in piles sometimes. This is just an Ethernet cord cord right yeah cat five all right that's just an ethernet cord this is power supply yeah just like a phone charger yeah Oops, where am i just a phone charger yeah you, you've been freezing up every once in a while too yeah so um, it doesn't show that my internet is bad right now yeah. here is a wireless gear hands-free boom mic Holly wants to know if you got the 25 bags yet. Hands free boom mic. Oh, there you go. No. Yeah. Today. 
I will let you know as soon as it comes in. <laughs> well, those are still those are still pretty heavily used mics like that. Hello. What's, okay. the, model, what's the model on that one? I don't know. It doesn't have a model. I don't see a model striker. Oh well. The mics do sell pretty well if you have them. I mean, now a lot of people like me went to, you know, the Yetis, but that's what you have, right? It's a Yeti. I have a Yeti. Here is a, um, I know that this is, I should probably ask my daughter if she wants this. It's a, it's an Apple. I mean, I think hers is fine. It's an Apple computer charger. Yep. You have to have one of those in order to do it, for sure. Some people love to sell cords. I mean, I know when I need, need a cord, you know, it's a good place to look is eBay. <laughs> Don't let the girls see the mic. <laughs> I know. They already have two. <laughs> they already have two of them. Okay, here is a let go. Let go, let go, let go. Is that a, uh, a picture frame? Yeah, it's one of those digital picture frames. All right, that I know. Um, it's called a Pan Digital. It has the plug. I wonder how many people actually use those. I, I never got into that. Well, you know what? I'd love to set one up and just plug it in, and then it just changes the picture yeah. every time you look at it. Or it, it does it on a schedule. Yeah, just program it to change every minute. Or I don't know. Minutes, you know. I think that they're pretty awesome. I think that they're pretty awesome. This is um, this one is it says Nest on it. Okay. It's a plug. It's a plug and a plug, and it says Nest. nest. What is Nest? Nest uh, is something. Isn't that like a Alexa or something? Well, what uh, what's the number on it? It says 28 volt adapter model input. Um. Well, that's what I thought D2 was the charger to, to put next to your phones and things. But I'm, It says A0013. Five oh. Five oh. What is a nest? Let's see. Saxton, what is a nest? She has a nest. She does? We have nest. <laughs> Sorry, Carla. <laughs> Yeah, thermostat. Oh, it's a thermostat. Well, they make thermostats, but I don't think this is a thermostat. Well, how would you plug in a thermostat into this? A thermostat goes on a wall. Right. Well, that's just the yeah the cord for. Let's see. All right. Anyways, that's that's that. Um, I have a very broken iPhone six. Uh -huh. The back of it is fine, but. If someone can fix the front of it, is that, I don't know. Maybe what it's color worth, is that one? Silver or rose? Maybe it's worth 10 bucks. I don't know. It looks like rose. Yeah. The front of it and the casing is fine. It's just the front, the the uh, the thing is shattered. Maybe that should go to one of those. Um, oh, wait until you guys see this. Hold on. Here's an iPod. Some of these iPods are desirable, right? Yeah, I've sold a few for sure. What's the uh, storage capacity? Does it say it down below the iPod? 128 or 256 or 80 GB? 80? 80. That's an 80. Well, it's not very big these days, but back then it was a, a lot of storage. All right, that's going in there. But people Wait. still buy those. I sell them when I find Wait them. Wait until you see this. Hello. Uh -huh, hello. Those are great, though. Hello. I've sold a lot of those. Isn't yeah. that great? 
I, I buy those every time I see them for sure. I got to show my daughters this. They'll ask what it is. They won't know that's a phone. <laughs> I unscrew the antenna and then just hand it to them. What is that? <laughs> oh, the antenna does unscrew. Yeah, it's supposed to be rubber, but that one's worn off. <laughs> it has a phone has a phone number written on it. Yeah. <laughs> With masking tape. Yeah, it is awesome. It's worth good money. I sell, I sell them all the time. <laughs> Isn't that so great? Yep, I love it. I had them. Hey, that was the 80s, you know, or early 90s. You're going to need a bigger purse. purse. That's that right. right. <laughs> I don't think that's going to fit in your, uh, in your coach. <laughs> that is hysterical. All right. I got to move faster. Well, there's, there's that much more? Yeah. Oh, man. There's a lot in this bucket. What time is it? Oh, I have time. They're coming oh, yeah. at one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is called The Final Word. Hmm. Is that a recorder, maybe? I have no idea. Final Word. Wow, Ozma, is that what this is? A Nokia one? Is that what this is, I wonder? Uh, most of them are Nokia one or cellular one. That's what I find usually cellular ones. That was what was popular around here. But The final word. Okay, let's see. The cable company, Jill. Or the television company. <laughs> right. Maybe a game. The final word, you guys, I don't know. You can look that up. I don't know what that is. Here's uh, this. Whoa. What is it? X-T-E-R-A-S-Y. Oh, it's just another splitter. But for some reason, the only person or two that has that thinks it's worth a lot of money. What's a lot of money? Well, somebody's got them listed brand new for $68. Huh. It's just a switch. I don't know why they would think it'd be that worth that much. Maybe it's just the name. Maybe it's a good yeah. name. Could be. Other other people have it for 20 so that seems a little more reasonable. Oh, there's two of these. One for you <laughs> and one for your friend. Uh, what is it? Oh, it's another, uh, the other switch. Yeah, yeah. There's two of them. Yeah. One for you, one for a friend. You don't want to show that to your kids. Uh, they might take it. <laughs> What's that? The brick phone. The brick phone? Okay, what's they'll, this? They'll use it for a prop in all their videos. Are they doing TikTok or anything, the girls? Oh, yeah. Oh, Big yeah. time. They're on it all the time. This must be some sort of like another like modem. Uh, Heather, we're just we're just doing a show and tell. We're just I trying to identify electronics and look them up. You can put comps in the chat. You can put links in the chat. We're just having fun. Yeah. Cisco. Cisco. Yeah, that used to be the main name. I don't hear that name very often anymore. Maybe they got bought out by somebody. Check Morning, Dora. Movie prop and title. Yeah. Hey, Dora. Now, here is the... Oh, it's broken. The screen's on. I was going to say... Oh, no, it's not broken. There's something on it. And oh, there's something on it. Here is the indestructible original phones that you could drop a million times without a case, and they didn't break. <laughs> right? I don't, I don't know. know why they, I don't know why they can't make them like this anymore. Right. Well, now, because it's touch screen and all that, it has to be very sensitive. You know, those phones probably weren't touch screen, were they? I don't know. That looks more like a slider or something. I don't know. But Jim, look at all that plush, huh? It's brand new. Yeah, nice little yeah. case. Huh, it's cute. Here is a. Let's see what's in here. Nothing in there. Well, this is very unusual looking. 
Okay, come back this evening and you can buy some plush. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> um, Holly wants the Cinderella. <laughs> Kodak Easy Share. But it has this, it's a Kodak Easy Share camera, but it has, what is that thing? I've never seen a camera with that thing on it. Huh. What's the megapixel on it? Three point one. Three point one. So it's been around a while. Yep. I don't know if it has a memory card in it or not. Here's um another Kodak. Hello, Elaine. Sell it all next month. I'm still working on the electronics I got from T. <laughs> And here's a S Olympus stylus. Yep. Hi, nice. Virginia. Nice, pretty blue one. Happy late birthday, Virginia. Hi, Elaine. Welcome in, honey. Okay. Here is a very broken RCA tablet. I found plenty of those. Very broken. Here is another camera. Oh, I had this camera. This is a great camera, you guys. I bet this will still sell. Oh, and it's got a memory card in it. I can't be responsible on what's in that memory card. Actually, I might take it out just in case. Like and, you're assuming it's something bad? <laughs> yeah. Well, you just never know. I don't like to sell things with memory cards. It's like, you know, people's personal pictures. It's like giving back personal um you yeah. know, merchandise when you go, yeah, I'm going to pitch it. Um, but I had this camera. This is a great camera. This will Amazing. sell. You know who will buy this? Someone in Europe. What's the uh, megapixels on that one? 10. Oh, no, that's a 10 times zoom. What's the megapixel? Oh, or the 10 times zoom. Um, Panasonic DMC TZ4. I don't see what the megapixel is on it. Is it a D7? Or? Model number DMC T is in Tom Z4. DZ4. It's made in Japan. Oh. 8.1 megapixel. So it's getting a little closer. Yeah. Let's see. It's great. It's a nice camera. Yeah. I loved that camera. Here's I mean, another, even the comps aren't terrible considering the age of it. Yeah, it's a good one. Right, Jenny? You remember those cameras? They're awesome. Um, here's another Kindle with the book. I mean, with the, with the case. Yeah. It's another Kindle. Now, are those hooked up to your account where you can't transfer them, or can you erase them and start them over? No idea. Under? I have no idea. I don't know nothing about Kindle. Never used Kindle. I don't read. I don't like to read. Oh my gosh. It's the non reader. Huh? A yeah. Non reader. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, here it is. Yep. The nest. So this must go to it. So what does this do? This should just be the charger, it looked like, but. But what does Nest do? Uh, it's like your Alexa, I think. Just a uh, different, different version. It's got a crack on it. Yeah, it probably doesn't matter. Yeah, it's got a crack in the glass. Yeah, because Alexa doesn't show you pictures or anything. They just talk to you. So, yeah. So you get. So there's that with the plug. So we'll have to figure that out. And then. Uh, Backtrack, huh? Never heard of that. Oh, it looks like a vaping thing. Oh with, yeah, it is. Yep. With a cartridge. Jerry has a question for you. Looks like it's brand new. Hi, Jerry. Donna, I had to stop in. I saw a short clip of yours, taking, talking to a little boy. How amazing was that? No, that backtrack is uh, a bread. Do you want to say a bit about him and that clip? 
So yeah, that's a that's a breath analyzer, the backtrack. So that's a lot better. What is it? It's a breath analyzer, alcohol breath analyzer. Oh, really? So you don't drink and drive or go over the What's limit. What's the value or... on this? Uh, I don't know. Depends on the model number and everything, but they're up there. Over a hundred. No, Saxton. I don't know if it's new or not, but it does still have this on it. Or maybe they just would put yeah, that. Yeah, those are replaceable. That's... It doesn't look like, it really doesn't look like it's like really ever been used. Well, yeah, they're all, depending on the model, but they're all over. It could be 25. It could be 125, depending on which one it is. So let me answer, um, let me answer Jerry. So Jerry, that little boy came and stayed with me and my family for about a month. Um, and then his mom came and got him. I mean, he was never staying with me long term. Um, she kind of needed a little bit of help um, with caring for him. And so we took him in and um, it was so sad when he was leaving. He thought he called me Mama Donna and he called Ricky, uh, Ricky Daddy. And even though the mom was... Um, going through some really, really rough times. She still, she belonged to, the, to one of those really, really uh, strong Christian churches here that we have in South Florida. They, some of these people, they, they start going to church like on Friday night and they go Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. They're at church the whole entire time. They eat at the church. They, they all cook food. They bring the food together. It's, it's really, they're like a big church family. So this little boy like really grew up in the church. And I mean, I think that someday he's going to be like a Joel, a Joel, um, Olstein. Yep. I'm telling you because he was so spiritual. And even though he had seen way more than a little boy should have seen, um, and had, had a really tough first five years of his life, I've lost touch with them. Um, the last I heard from them, she was in New York and she flipped religions. She um, became uh, of the Muslim faith and she was wearing the whole black, all you could see were her eyes. So she went from one extreme to the other. Um, yeah. So he was a very, very special little boy. My kids loved having him. Um, my husband loved having him. And then um, she took him. Um, still had his innocence. Yeah. She took him. And that, that particular night, um, he had come downstairs. The girls had given him a bath. And he came downstairs and asked if he could have a snack. And I said, of course, you can have a snack, honey. And and I gave, I gave him a snack, snack and I was sitting on the couch and he just came over and he just was like, and I had, I have it, have his mom's permission to put that, um, on YouTube and, and, um, he just started talking so deep to me. And so I, I, I said, I'm going to record you cause we're going to save this. And when you get older, I said, you're going to look back at this and see how brave you are and how strong you are. And it's funny because I, I watch it now and I can really see how bad my hearing is cause he's talking to me and I'm saying to him, what did you say? Like not to repeat him because, but because he was that close to me, I still couldn't understand what he was saying. I couldn't hear him. My hearing is my hearing is that bad, you guys. It's terrible. But T's sending me some hearing aids from her dad. Yeah, she's wearing a Habib now. Um, her dad has gifted me some hearing aids. I'm so excited about them. They don't really work for him, um, so I'm gonna bring them to uh, to have them tuned into my ears, and hopefully, I'll be able to start hearing better. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jerry. Yeah. He was an absolute joy to have. And um, I would have taken him in for the rest of his life, to be honest with you. Like we fell in love with him. Like the girls even cried when he left. He cried. The girls cried. He thought he was going to live with us forever. And I would have been fine with that. I was ready to start 
to start over again and raise a little five-year-old. Oh, really, toilet girl? Your ear, my ears are like your eyes. Yeah, so that's that's who he was. And um, okay, so there's a whole collection of this one is called Keck Mobile Application DVD. This is a whole collection of um, um, this one is Direct TV, and this one is a Samsung. So there's I think there's more in here too. So there's a whole bunch of um. I used to do, do you sell um, remote controls? I have a few. I have a lot of boxes of them sitting in storage. I pick them up whenever I find them, the good brands anyway. Yeah, I... Um, Sony's and Samsung. I used to do, you guys, if you ever see, if you ever see remote controls with the yep. digital screen on them, on oh, the sure. remote control, yeah. buy them, even if they're $10. Because and also... Real little ones that go to stereos, go to ceiling fans, anything really odd and strange looking, check it out. Yeah, some of those can be worth a lot of money, the yeah. ones with the digital screen on them. Yeah, the new digital screens are expensive for sure. It will be a big change for you to hear, Donna. I know Jill, right? Poor Jill. She was like, when she was here, she'd be talk. I'd be like in one side of the cottage and she'd be in the other side of the cottage and she'd like say something and I'd be like, stop talking. I hear you talking. I hear nothing. I All I hear is mumble. Wait until I come into the same room with you. And then she would like say it again and yell it at me. And I'm like, well, I'm in front of you now so you don't have to yell at me. <laughs> hey, Chris the Goose. Hi, honey. Good to see you. I know, Jill, I'm so excited to be able to hear. I know I'm missing a lot. I know I'm missing a lot. I know I am. So, okay, this is, it's a, it's D, uh, D -H -M -I or D H HDMI. Okay, HDMI. So, a big old monster cable. That's a nice one. That's a nice one, right? Short, but nice one, yeah. So, this is to connect your TV to your components, to yeah your your dvd or blu-ray or whatever yeah but nothing to do with computers you can my monitors are using them for the computer now yeah so what would you connect your computer what would you use this to connect your computer for just the monitor that's all monitor to the computer oh if oh, you right. have a, if you have a modern modern yeah a modern, oh yeah modern. mine is all in one so i don't i don't yeah. have a, yeah. yeah okay <laughs> i was gonna say maybe i should use it to connect no. to my but no i'm all in one so <laughs> Um, okay, this is, I don't know what company this is. It says is, oh, designed by Apple. Apple's usually white. That one's gray. Me, so, yeah, so it's probably just an iPod remote or something. That's good. I don't know. Like we were saying, you know, if they're small or odd size or weird looking. Check them out. And this is just another component cable. Yep. And it says on it, Honeywell. That's more of like a generally like your thermostats and stuff like that. So I don't know what that what that one goes to. Not probably not a computer. Well, someone's looking for that. Yeah, for sure. I wish I could say I'm almost done, but I'm not. <laughs> oh, well, there'll be another video. This, this looks like it has paint on it. Chamberlain, my cue. Well, I don't know what that one does, but maybe emergency lighting. Let's see, serial number, my cue. Generally, Chamberlain, it has to do with garage doors and that type of thing. HDMI to HDMI is good for camcorder to smart TV or laptop to smart TV to watch lives on the big screen. Huh. So I don't know what this is, but there's two of them. Good morning, Katney. 
Did you see? Hey, Cat D. Good morning. It's a garage. It garage opener. Is that what this is? A garage well, opener? No, but that's what Chamberlain makes is garage door openers. So it's probably something to do in the garage. And you see, it's one of them has overspray on it from paint Mike, or whatever. So Mike Hugh is a wireless app for openers. Yeah. Hi, Steve. Probably, probably for your phone, a phone app. You can open your garage doors remotely. That kind of thing. All right, here we have, oh, did we, did we get one of these cables? Eero. Never heard of an Eero. What's San Francisco. Wi-Fi. Model B010001. Yep. It's a, it's a modem? No, it's a Wi-Fi, well... Tri band mesh Wi Fi. Huh. What's that do? Mesh Wi Fi router. And they have some value. Looks what's like a, 50 and a, up. What's a, a mesh Wi Fi router? Let's see. If anybody says it's just an extender. Okay. It's an extender? Well, it, I mean, it looks like a lot of them are 70, 100. They're up there. Are they? That's nice. Wow, it's quite a bit of money in that pile. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, this I I know from having kids are VTech cameras. <laughs> yep. Like baby monitors? Yep. But you need the screen, right? So we'll see if we have the screen. All right, what's this? Eternal light. Well, don't we all need an eternal light? We all need one of these, you guys. That's what it says. It says eternal light. Yep. But what does it do for you? It's a uh, uh, camera, maybe different or a uh, uh, flashlight <laughs> with a lot of different settings got a lot of different settings timer on dim flasher strobe dazzle technology associates incorporated i have no idea but we all need an eternal light that's an eternal light all right i'm not gonna I'm, i don't feel like going through all this I know this is an Apple product because yep. it's Apple on it. Those are the good ones. They sell for some money. And oh, here's the plug for the Cisco. Cisco router, yep. And there's a mouse and some more plugs. So, yeah. Here's a Logitech. <laughs> Shelly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, this is probably like, uh, is that a router too? No, it can't be. No. No, Logitech. Well, you know, they do cameras and stuff like that. So it's a Logitech... Wi-Fi Mac address to use with Mac? What's No, 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 no. What's the uh, model? Wi-Fi Mac address, it says. It well, says... Your Mac address is not a Mac computer. It's something else. Oh, okay. It's, it says MN slash. Is that the model number? MM50? 0-R004. See. You know who I should have invited on to do this? My friend Super Dell. You know, cut the cord, Super Dell. Yeah. He probably would know what all this shit is. I don't mean to use the word shit, but 
you know what I mean, you guys. He probably would know what all this stuff is. Yeah, I've seen, he, seen he's been talking a lot of electronics lately. Well, that's oh. his whole channel, right? It isn't talking. There's another MyQ, yeah. That's the plug for the MyQ. Yep. Probably. I never, looked, I never looked up to see what that, how much that was. A garage. You did, Jenny. I'm a bad girl. Mm. My Amazon account was deactivated. I need to go and reactivate my Amazon links. I don't. I couldn't access it last night, and I, I called Amazon, and they told me that I needed to create a whole new one. For uh, your referrals? Yeah, for my affiliate links. Not that I earned very much money for them, but anyways, is this, it's Griffin. Is this another microphone? I don't think so. What is this thing? It's like a viewer. It's got a US, whoops. It's got a USB. You guys, what is this? It says Griffin. Any numbers? Um, watch. Watch stand charging dock. Oh yeah, charging dock. Yep. Yeah. Put your what watch on there. Charge it up like your your smart watches. Just set it on there and charge it. Instead of having to plug your phone in, you just set it on there. Set it on where? On the top. It's slanted. Yeah, I don't know. It may be magnetic up there. I don't know. Just a charger. Good morning, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Oh, no, I called them, Beetlebug. They didn't call me. I called them when I couldn't get into my Amazon account. I called the number, and I called them. This can't be a charger. What is this thing? All right, well... Let's see. It's got a USB connector. Yeah, we'll get into your computer. It looks like an Apple Watch charger. Yeah, I mean, that's all Griffin makes our chargers, so. Let's see what it does if I plug it in. You don't have a smartwatch, right? You don't have an iPhone. We're setting up an Apple Watch magnetic charger cable. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what the computer says it is. Yeah, you just. It's an Apple Watch. Set your watch on the top there and charge it up. It's a magnet. It's magnet. How does it stay on? It's a magnet. It's tilted. Yeah, but it has a magnet. It's tilted so you can see you see your watch while it's charging. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that makes sense to me now. Mm -hmm. That way so, you don't have to pick it up and look at it, see what's going on with it. But, yeah. So, um... Griffin makes Apple products. Well, they make chargers in general. Yeah. Okay. They must have got licensed to make that one for Apple. For Apple, Apple, you know, Apple capable. Kobe. They make little DVD players and whatnot. I know what this is. It's an international charger. Yep. With all of the different international plugs. Superdale. Let's see. Who's Supergirl? Oh, Sandy says she heard Superdale's name. So there's an international charger. Here is. camera with a whole bunch of cords attached to it oh so that that charger or that remote may go to the picture frame the kobe oh does it all right oh look this is a sony cybershot 3.2 megapixel and it has connected to it a usb cable thing and is this connected to it? No. So here's a Cybershot, Sony Cybershot. 3.2 megapixel. There's that. And then there's this, which I probably should keep to test things. Look at how awesome this is. 
This is like a multi. One, two, three, four, five options. Six options. Yep. It's got nine volts and it has all of those other. The nine volt is really handy if you're doing old electronics. Right. Or a lot of stuffed animals have uh, nine volt batteries yeah. too. Yeah. Well, that'd be real good then. Here's a magic jack. <laughs> I remember those. I don't think they ever worked very well for many people. I don't know. I don't know anything about them. We never used them. Here is another international plug. Mm -hmm. Here is a Samsung, probably DVD player. Uh, maybe more like a, let's see, it says a voice recorder on it. DVR, okay. Oh, that's got a screen on it. Oh no, it doesn't have a screen. It you can it you can um this little pad moves. So I don't know what this would be for. Does it slide out of the way? Is it just a cover? It says square, no. Recommended search. It's a smart hub. Yep. It looks like a fancy, it looks like a pretty fancy remote. Yeah. It's got a lot of smart stuff on it. So that's that's a good one. That's a good remote. See, this person must have traveled a lot. Here's another international chart. Um, how many international chargers does one person need? Well, I mean, if you're traveling every day, you might lose them. They, you know they get stuck in hotels all the time. To uh, a Metro PCS and Asurian little old phones for there. This one is maybe to uh, that's a fan, a fan, yeah, or air filter or fan, one or the other. Which is good. Those are the ones I'm telling you to, to definitely look at when you see them. I don't know. This is another little. On, off, on, off, on, off. Hmm. Three things you can connect to it. Yeah, it goes to a hub or something. It's got the model number. You want to look it up? Uh, it's a TR-011 remote and this is what it looks like the uh, wireless remote for outlet channel f uh, Hi, controls yeah looks looks like you can program your own stuff into it either way it's uh 15 dollars 15? 10 to 15, yep. So easy ship, easy list. Oh, well, you're not listing. Well, are you going to list them on eBay? All that big stack on there? Ceiling fans, yep, probably so. <laughs> Old iPhone charger or Apple charger. Or iPad. iPad, yeah, yeah. I have an old iPad. I keep some of those older chargers or cables around. It's I testing stuff like that all the time. And it's harder to find them now than you think. So you can pick those up sometimes. Too. Here's a little tiny air click. Mm -hmm. These are the ones people lose because they're so yeah, tiny. For sure get lost in their bed or under the bed and all kinds of things. And then there's a whole bunch of these. Yeah. Um, Computer cables. No. Yeah, look at the ends. No, they're not. Hold them up. Are Let's, they? Yeah, let me see the ends. Yeah, that goes to your computer. It's your main computer supply. A few stereos use them now, too. Not very many. Mostly computers. Or TVs. Uh, I don't know if TVs go went to that type of plug or not. I don't think so. Hmm. I thought maybe TVs. Too. Hi, Leon. <laughs> I didn't see you come in there. 
Yep, he came in just a few minutes ago. This is Bonjour Rabbit Air. Do, do, do monitors use them now too, Cat D? I can't remember. Little. Bonjour. Bonjour. It comes with the instruction booklet and the little charger is in there. Now, I think I saw Jean-Pierre come in a little bit ago too. Yes, know. I said hi to him. Okay, good. Here's another Apple product. Oh, yeah. That's handy. Here's an Amazon plug for something. It says Just Amazon on it? Yeah. To their Kindles or Fires or... Oh, maybe it's to one of the Kindles. Probably so. We got a couple of them in there. I think there was three. I think I found two, and then I found one more. Aren't we at the bottom of that tub yet? <laughs> what are you going to do with all this stuff? I don't know. What are you going to do with it? I don't know. What do you normally do with it? Here's another one. Another one of those plugs. Yep. Nose picking says uh, monitors use them and typewriters too, huh? Old is, monitors, okay. Old monitors, right. What is this? Just a stand to something. No, it looks like it's a microphone. It's, you know, I think it's a mic. Yeah, it looks like a mic. It's a 032... 032312. I don't know what you would call it, though. Yeah. Let's see. Well, that number doesn't bring anything up. Oh, wait. There's a name on it. It's A U D Y S S E Y. Odd Odyssey. Odyssey. A U D Y S S E Y. It's really small. I didn't see it on there. Okay, that is a receiver. Calibration microphone mic. Oh, it's a mic. Yeah, it looks like it's a mic on the top. Setup microphone. Okay. It's a microphone? Yeah, and that goes for $30 and up. Mostly up. Old wor word processor. Oh, for those plugs. Oh, Ozma says she sold that before. It's a calibrator for a microphone. Yep. Okay. This cable has two auxiliaries. I don't know what you would use that for, but... Just an extending cable. It had a weird cardboard stand originally. Yeah. This is a... Insignia. Insignia, yep. Yeah, it's just for different oh, photo cards and things. It's for it's to put into your computer and put your memory cards in it. If your memory cards a reader. If yeah, if your if your computer doesn't have all of the different um and most computers are are going away from those options, so you still need one of those. They're not building those slots in anymore. Where's that memory card I just took out here? I wonder if I should keep this. I'll never use it. Okay. <laughs> did, you, did you leave a lot of photos on cards? Mm, some. Yeah. Here's just a short little phone charger or some sort of charger. Here's one of those just basic, probably nine or 12 volt charger things. What is this? Here's a Apple product. Well, maybe you can auction it all off tonight if anyone's interested in it. I don't know if anybody wants to bid on that big of a lot, though. It's a big lot. It's a lot of stuff. 
Or it's either that or you're going to have to list it yourself. I have no idea what this is. Uh, are those plugins on the top or a stand? It was inside this little bag. Osmo, what's this? <laughs> Osmo? <laughs> what is this, Osmo? Does that plastic come off, I assume? No, it's sealed. Huh. So it's it's new. Could just be a stand then. Earbud replacements. Yeah, could be. Osmo. That's what they look like. Do they? Oh, yeah. I can see them now. They've got three different sets of earbud ends. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Okay, Osmo, you're up again. What in the world is this? Let me take it out of the bag. Jill's like, I knew that one too, Osmo. <laughs> Jill. Smarty pants, Jill. Okay, Jill, what's this one? <laughs> what is this? Pressure is on, Ozma. <laughs> that just looks like a mic to me. Clip it to your lapel. No, there's no clip. Well, it has sticky tape on the back. So. One time use? I don't know. Mike, see, that's a, she's thinking the same way I am. I don't think so. Look at it. Didn't have any holes in there. It's to, to, to be like a mic. It's no. a sensor then if it's not a mic. What is it? A sensor. A sensor. Could be. A sensor for what? Woman <laughs> Traders is like next. Who cares? It's a wire. <laughs> yeah, it's made to stick in one place and plug it into, uh, you know, something. To sense for people that want to sense sticks to the monitor yeah this is another um ethernet hi flower girl it's a bugging device no you wouldn't want to have to plug that in and then these sleeves. Credit card protectors. I have no idea. Let's see what it says. Oh, there's, there's this too. Some sort of button and it has that. It's brand new. I don't know what it is. It'd have to be looked up to. And this is just a regular charger. Charger thing. And this says on it 10 pieces protective waterproof. They're sleeves. What would you waterproof? What would you have to waterproof? Well, the end is open, so I don't know how they could be waterproof. Right? If you slide a card in there. I have no idea. They just look like those, you know, RFID protecting sleeves, you know. It says waterproof on it. Yeah, I don't know why it's a waterproof card. Protection waterproof. Can't be waterproof with it's open. And this... Another phone. Brand new in the box. The phone is in there and everything? Yep. Wow. Nice little clipper. It's never been used. All the cables, everything, everything's in here. What are these? Earbuds. Even came with earbuds. 
Yeah, they instructions. Oh, that's my son. That's it, honey. That's everything in the bucket. Yay. All of it. <laughs> Did we learn anything? <laughs> we learned that I have a big mess. Yeah, no kidding. Look at all this stuff. It's a lot of stuff. Some of it is pretty pricey. Yeah, we even looked some of it up, that's for sure. Some of it's great. Right, Chris Rob? We all miss those flip phones. If I didn't need mine for business, I'd I'd have a flip. I'd go back to a razor or something. If all I need to do was call. Yep. Right. This is the reselling life, right, Jenny? Now I have to decide what I'm going to do with this. Should I bring it? Should I split it up into lots and sell it? Should I pluck out some of the expensive stuff and put them in my eBay store? Should I sell all of it? Well, I would put it in my eBay store, but I know you don't want to do that. Right? Putting it in my eBay store would be the smart thing. You got, you got to teach Lola to start listing for you. Right? So busy with shipping. I need her for shipping. Sell it all right now? No, we've been on an hour 15. I don't know if I would sell it all right now. I think what I would do is maybe let people watch the video. Sell it tonight. Either sell it tonight or maybe put best offer by tonight. <laughs> I think that a lot, Jenny. It's like, do I really want to waste my time with this or just get it out of here? Sell it like you did with the crafts. So dropping stops. Yeah. I put it all in a big UPS box. Yeah, sell the tub. Just the whole, I mean, just the shipping alone on that will be. You don't want to deal with it again, though. Move it all at one time. I think I would sell the whole pile. All of it. There were at least 10 good pieces in there, so there's money in there for sure. Didn't you say some of those pieces were in the hundreds? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There was probably at least 10 pieces at $100, so there's money that money to be made if somebody wants to work it and test it all. And Well, I guess some of it was actually new. You wouldn't even have to test. But no, right? A lot of it was new. Throw it in a garbage bag. <laughs> Put a label on it and ship it out. No, Saxton, I think I'm going to do it in one. I think I'm going to do it in one lot. And I think what I'll do is, um, I think I'm going to start it at 100. And I think the best offer. Yeah, do the, the comment is, section. The best offer in the comments, it's a lot of weight. I know nose picking. I know. Yeah, it's going to be like $40 to ship. So. T's here. Oh, she is. Okay, everybody, remember the rules now. No more rule breaking. No, I'm not teasing you, Saxton. I'm trying to decide whether or not I should put it back on the shelf and pluck some stuff out of it and sell it. Or whether I should just give it all to you guys to sell. I say start it at 100 and put it in the comments. Put your bid in the comment. In 24 hours, sell it to the highest bidder. In 24 hours? Yep. Or before tonight's auction, even, whatever you want to do. Or at the end of tonight's auction. That way everybody can go back and bid if they want to. We can remind them to go bid. That's a good idea. We can tell them that we have a, um, a an auction going on from this morning's live. How does that sound, you guys? I think that's good. It'll give people an opportunity to watch. How long of it? It's an hour and 19 minutes. Yeah. Oh, it's almost 1 o'clock. Well, they never get here right at 1 o'clock anyways. They won't be on time. No. Okay. So this is what I think I've decided to do. So here it is. This is what you get. 
you get all this stuff that you just previewed. There's lots of stuff here. Not Elvis. Not Elvis is not part of the group. Um, everything that's on here, the Kindles, the phones, the everything, everything that's in here. Starting bid is $100. And then, um, let's give it 24 hours. You got 24 just till tonight. 24. Okay. So noon, well, your time, 1 p.m. Monday afternoon is the cutoff. Highest bid. Saxton comes in at 100. Highest bid by tomorrow night. We'll do tomorrow night. Well, I don't usually go on on Monday nights. That's why I say end it tonight, at the end of the auction tonight. End it tonight? Yep. That way you know who's gonna who, who the winner is. By tonight, yeah. you can invoice them. Okay. Should if I let them know? Auction tonight, it'll run three or four hours, and at the end of that auction, whoever's the high bid gets it. Okay. Do they use their gift certificates with that? Well, that's up to you. Of course. I think so. Yeah. I think I'm fine with that. Okay. So that's what we'll do tonight. Um, that's what we'll do. We'll we'll sell this entire lot of electronics to the highest bidder tonight. What time is the auction tonight? Ah, uh, Carla, that remains to be seen. <laughs> um, usually on Sunday nights. I'm going to talk to T, too. So um, I don't know if T wants to come on with me tonight or not because she still has, um, she still has still yeah, family in town. Sorry. So why is Catherine saying no? I don't know. I don't know. But so put your bids down in the uh, comment section after the show. Right. And whoever has the high bid tonight will get it. Um. I'm going to have a really busy day tomorrow shipping, so I probably won't want to stay on too late tonight. So I'm going to talk to T, and I'm going to talk to Schreiker and see what their schedules are like and maybe guess like around 8-ish might be a good time. Does that time work for you? I have no complaints. No, Greens, I haven't invoiced. I haven't done anything with the gift certificates. I haven't written them down. I haven't, I haven't figured them out. I haven't done anything with them. No gift certificates. Well, some people will want to use their gift certificates. Yeah, I mean, that's why you buy the gift certificates, too. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. why you buy one. But thank you, Catherine. So eight really means around nine. Saxton, honestly, if you were here right now, I would pull your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just didn't want to not pay. Thanks, Greens Vintage. Don't worry, honey. I'll get it out to you. Appreciate you. <laughs> Saxton. <laughs> Relax, will you? <laughs> um, the other day, Jill. <laughs> Purple Barnes laughing, Katty. All right. Yeah. All right, you guys. So that's it. That's that's what's going on. And um, the kids are arriving. Cable company's coming. I have a huge mess here that I need to. Um, I really just want to walk away from it and go down to the beach for a couple of hours. I've just been working so hard, but I'm not going to. I'm going to be responsible. Because I was irresponsible a couple of times this week, and I can't be irresponsible anymore. You're only a mile from the beach. Take a walk. I know. But you know what will happen if I go do that, then I'm, it's going to be really hard for me to come back and get like remotivated. Right? What? Might as well just work. Maybe this week I'll take a day off or two days off and try to, and try to relax. Thanks, Carla. No, I'm going to jump into it. I got a lot to do. It's hot out. Susie says, yeah, Pfft, go to the beach to you. It says, I know. We'll see. All right. Thank you guys for coming in. I'm so glad that you hung out. I appreciate it. That was fun going through it. I want to do more unboxing videos like this. 
just finding the time to do it is hard. Um, Kim Murphy, go to the beach. Yes, Catherine, thank you. Spread the word. They may not want to spread the word, especially if they're bidding on it. I'm not going to lie. Saxon doesn't want you to spread the word. <laughs> I know, right? She's like, Shh, Catherine. She's hoping to get it. For, she's hoping to get it for a hundred bucks. Yeah. So remember, after the video is over, go down in the comments, leave your bid. Thank you, Carla. I hope we all kind of learned a little bit of something today with all this stuff. Yeah, there's a few things there. I didn't know what they were. Right? Bring boxes to the beach to unbox. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a good idea, Fancy. I've wanted to do an auction down at the beach for so long. I was holding, I was holding onto a whole bunch of like really beautiful beachy jewelry and I was going to bring it down to the beach and like do like a beachy jewelry, you know, right with the, with the ocean behind me and stuff. And I just never did it, but that was my plan to do that. And then I ended up selling all that beachy jewelry and a lot and I'd have to like start saving beachy jewelry again to do it. it. Doesn't have to be beachy jewelry, but the stuff that I was saving was like, what are you laughing at? You could do like uh, beach towels and bathing suits. And... I don't have beach towels and bathing suits, yeah. but jewelry. Yeah, it would be cool, right, you guys? <laughs> I will follow you with my metal detector. <laughs> Too damn hot, Jill says. No, I wanted to do it like it like late, not like at the height of the day, but like uh, my favorite time of the beach is like, just as the sun is going down, it's so beautiful. So beautiful, just as the sun or early morning, but a lot of people probably wouldn't come early morning when the sun, when the sun is coming up. Susan's like, horses. <laughs> Rummageraders is like, no, Susan. See, Saxton, I finally brought stuff that you like, right? There it is. You like stuff like this, don't you? Didn't bring any purses. I brought stuff that you like. Yeah, I will. I'll do it. I'll go down to the beach and do that. Laura. Hey, honey. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. Okay. You guys, we'll see you tonight. So, um, yeah. Bid on it. Bid on this lot. This is an awesome lot. Highest bid in the chat tonight when I go live, which will be approximately 8 o'clock. I will check with Schreiker. I will check with T and see if she wants to come on with me. And yes, I would like my channel to grow. Um, we will see who the winner is. Okay. All right, you guys. Thanks. Shriker, thanks for joining me and helping me through this craziness of a mess. All right. We'll see, see you later. Bye, you guys. Have a great Sunday.